हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मोनाली रेशम वाला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्रोम्बो अंजाइटिस ऑब्लिटरेंस दैट इज आल्सो नोन एज बर्जर्स डिसीज फिजियोथेरापिस्ट रोल इन बर्जर्स डिसीज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ पेरीफेरल आर्टेरियल डिसीज एंड अगेन अ पार्ट ऑफ सिलेबस फ्रॉम फिजियोथेरापी इन कार्डियोपलमरी कंडीशंस फॉर फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी वॉट इज टी एओ दैट इज थ्रोम्बो एंजाइटिस ऑब्लिटरेंस एक्चुअली दिस डिस रिजल्ट इन इन्फ्लामेशन ऑफ न्यूरो वास्कुलर बंडल दैट इज ऑफ आर्ट्री वेन एंड नर्व हियर आर द पॉइंट्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन डिटेल द फर्स्ट इज इटियोलॉजी यूजली द इटियोलॉजी इज अनोन फॉर दिस डिसीज but it is being precipitated by cigarette smoking a heavy smoker may get tao very easily cessation of smoking improves the outcome of the disease it is usually seen between the age of 20 to 40 years and in male it is more affected than female as we find many of the male person smoking affected vessels are arteries of upper limb and viscera and distal arteries of the leg distal arteries are mostly affected which can be the differential diagnosis from the other arterial diseases pathology lymphocyte may invade the arterial wall wall becomes inflamed and clot formation occurs which obstruct the lumen of the artery vessels becomes degenerated and fibrous tissue formation may occur which again reduces the lumen this process is very slowly progressive and extends to collateral vessels also next is clinical features most of the time distal extremities like leg and finger leg and fingers are affected patient may have resting pain feel feet usually are cold sweating and may have fungal infections on it on elevation foot becomes pale and in dependent position it becomes red there may be symptoms like intermittent claudication gangrene pain associated with the onset of gangrene is usually severe and may prevent slip at distal arteries are usually more affected toes may be completely ischemic but foot may have good pulsation so if we feel the pulsation in the dorsalis pedis artery we may feel good pulsation but further there will be problem of supply blood so there will be ischemia in the foot some of the clinical features need to be understood in detail like wrist pain this wrist pain is severe burning pain in foot to the toes which occurs mostly at the night the patient is frequently wakened by the pain which may be relieved to certain extent by the leg being suspended over the side of the bed which is the most prominent feature second thing on elevation foot may become pale the way shown in figure 1 in independent position they become red then intermittent claudication intermittent claudication is a cramp like pain felt in the calf or sometimes at the thigh in quadriceps or hamstring and or at the level of gluteus it occurs or the precipitating factor for this pain is movement that is any kind of exercise like walking when person walks after some time he may feel cramp like pain in the muscles this pain prevents him to walk further and if he takes some rest the pain reduces after that once he feel better he can walk again so this is known as intermittent claudication the intermittent claudication is aggravated by movement or exercise and relieved by rest 
diagnosis or investigation of this condition can be because uh, can be done with varieties of test clinically can be done a rubber dependency test we can also find out the claudication time segment of blood pressure should be checked transcutaneous oximetry can give us the perfect amount or area of ischemia doppler ultrasonography can uh, suggest the area of occlusion and arteriography at the end can give the perfect idea perfect picture of the disease treatment of it can be divided into medical physiotherapy and surgical where the medical treatment will be the first and foremost advice will be to stop smoking yes smoking is forbidden at all because it also causes vasoconstriction further reducing the size of the lumen and further leading to ischemia to the distal part next is drugs which can be analgesics for pain relief and vasodilators skin hygiene should be maintained to prevent any kind of wound infection then physiotherapy the aim of physiotherapy is to improve circulation to increase blood supply to the affected limbs thus delaying the gangrene we want to prevent gangrene as there is no much treatment for gangrene other than amputation and a person would never like to have amputated limb on his body further physiotherapy treatment for that physiotherapy treatment can be burgers exercise which helps to establish collateral circulation and active free exercises of all the distal extremities without producing pain here burgers exercises can be described in detail like it is a pattern of position designed to encourage the development of a collateral circulation in the legs the procedure here is first position of the patient is in supine line with the leg supported in the elevation like 45 degree of elevation of the legs should be done until the skin blanches for say about 2 minutes after that the patient is asked to sit up with a leg dependent position until the skin color is becoming bright red say about 4 3 minutes then the patient lies supine with the legs horizontal until the skin color returns to normal like say about 5 minutes this exercise pattern is repeated 4 to 5 times for 3 times a day improvement is determined by decreasing time required for changes in the skin color here is a figure shown of collateral vessel the way person may get benefit from burgers disease there may be development of collateral vessels which will provide blood further to the distal extremities and the changes in the skin color and decreasing time required for changes in skin color shows improvement that means there there may be development of collateral vessels next treatment is surgery we can either perform upper thoracic or lumbar sympathectomy which will uh, prevent vasoconstriction and relax the arterial muscles so somehow we can maintain lumen size that, that much that which will provide blood to the distal area but this effect is very temporary next is amputation if there is a gangrene already developed we need to perform amputation otherwise it may spread to the other areas of proximal area of from that area so amputation and a person who has undergone for amputation requires a lot of care for stump as well a, as well as a lot of physiotherapy followed by amputation reconstruction of arteries is impossible in of these disease because the affected arteries are very smaller in size so person have to overcome or uh, we have to uh, just find out the treatment like that way here are the references thank you